How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here giving you guys a video showcasing the brand new Nintendo Switch OLED model. And on this video, we're going to show you guys exactly what the difference is between the Nintendo Switch OLED and the original Nintendo Switch. Is it going to be worth it? Find out as we go through the top 10 differences between the Nintendo Switch OLED and the original. So first things first, before we jump into all of the specs on size, CPU, GPU, all of that fun stuff, we're gonna give you guys the full on trailer that Nintendo revealed. So let's watch that and then we're gonna jump into the 10 differences between the OLED and the original. So that trailer was pretty intense, right? Let's jump into the 10 things that you need to know about the Nintendo Switch OLED versus the original Nintendo Switch. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is the release date. Now that's going to be available on October 8th, 2021, and that's gonna coincide with the brand new game called Metroid Dread. If you like 2D side-scrolling action games, then this one is going to be one for the books. I'm looking forward to it, so if you guys want a gameplay preview of what it is going to be like, definitely stay tuned for the channel. Now, other than that, uh, the entire Nintendo Switch system right over here with the brand new OLEDs is going to be $349.99 MSRP. Now, that's about $50 more than the original base unit. And as you guys know, with the rest of the bullet points that we're gonna put in this video, we're gonna show you guys exactly what makes the additional $50 worth it. And is it worth double dipping if you already own a Nintendo Switch right now? So let's get to the bottom of that. Now, one of the main selling points for the Nintendo Switch OLED is going to be exactly that. It's the seven inch OLED screen. Now it's a different technology than the previous Nintendo Switch's LCD screen, which is arguably better. A lot more vivid colors, a lot more contrast, a lot more just everything in it. So you're gonna be paying a little bit more for exactly that. And the great thing is, compared to the original Nintendo Switch, which has a 6.2 inch screen, this one is a little bit bigger. And I like that fact. A lot more vibrant colors for the screen. 
Now, if you ever played with a Nintendo Switch before, you'll notice that the kickstand is a little flappy thing right over here. A lot of people have uh, witnessed that the kickstand itself has broken off, snapped off, didn't really hold the weight of the Nintendo Switch. Well, they fixed that in the Nintendo Switch OLED, and it's a lot wider. And you can see that it is going to be able to expand across the entire back of the Nintendo Switch, versus just this little piece right over here. And not only that, it's got some different depth to it where you can use the stand in order to adjust for the optimum viewing angle. Pretty cool. Number five on our list is going to be showing you that you will not need any one of these USB to Ethernet dongles anymore, which was an accessory that I purchased outside of the Nintendo Switch in order to hook up my LAN cable straight into here to have the best possible online experience. Now, this is going to be thrown out the window because the brand new dock that's available for the Nintendo Switch OLED has a port directly over here that you can put in your Ethernet port to connect to Nintendo Switch Online. Number six on our list is going to be teaching you that right out the box, you're going to have 64 gigabytes of space in order to download all of your favorite games on Nintendo Switch. Now, the original Nintendo Switch has 32 gigabytes built in memory, but at the end of the day, you can always expand that storage by purchasing a memory card up to two terabytes of data so that you can have a huge library on there. So it's kind of arbitrary, but some people choose not to purchase a memory card and that's okay. So right off the bat, 64 gigabytes, which is doubled storage. Number seven on our list is going to be showing you that there's gonna be some sort of enhanced audio. So right off the bat, there's going to be even better audio capabilities within the Nintendo Switch OLED versus the Nintendo Switch. Now I don't have the specs or details on exactly what, but until it launches, we'll have to find out. So just blanket statement, Nintendo's claiming that the overall sound is going to be a lot better than it was on the original. Number eight on our list is about the size difference between the OLED model and the original Nintendo Switch. Now, as you can see on screen over here, there's going to be a very slightly larger model, which is four inches high by 9.5 inches long. And you can see over here with the original Nintendo Switch, it is going to be almost the exact same, but you have a 9.4 inch long. So very negligible, but slightly larger. Likewise, for number nine on our list is going to be the weight of the OLED model versus the original. And the weight is going to be approximately 0.71 pounds versus the approximate 0.66 pounds. Honestly, you probably won't be able to tell the difference, but the difference is there, very slightly. So number 10 on our list, last but not least, is showing you that the Nintendo Switch OLED model is going to be the exact same thing as the Nintendo Switch as far as everything else goes. Same game carts, same processors, and a lot of the similarities. So let's go over exactly what that is. Now, right off the bat, you'll see that the uh, the screen resolution is still the same thing at 1280 by 720. So the resolution doesn't get any better. Uh, it's not going to be any 4K stuff or anything like that. The GPU and the CPU is an NVIDIA Custom Tiger processor, the exact same kind of processor. So you're not going to get any faster speeds or anything like that. Uh, we've already talked about storage. The wireless capabilities are the exact same thing. The video output is going to be the exact same thing. Again, no 4K or anything like that. A lot of people were thinking that a Nintendo Switch Pro would have something like that. That's not the case. Um, as of right now, the technical specs for output uh, of audio, I remember they said it was something like enhanced. It just shows the exact same copy paste right over here. So audio, we're just going to trust that it's going to be different. Speakers are going to be the same stereo, USB connector, uh, is going to be the exact same thing. Buttons, headphone jack, game card slot, micro SD, same thing. The sensor still has the accelerometer, the gyroscope, brightness sensor, all set. Uh, you can see the operating environment, the internal battery is also going to be the exact same thing. You're not going to have a battery that is going to be a lot better. It's the carbon copy battery that lasts about four and a half to nine hours, and the charging time is approximately three hours. So pretty much the same thing besides the previous nine bullet points that we listed. Well, there you have it, everyone. It's the Nintendo Switch OLED model. Now, is it worth the difference of the price of $50? Well, if you guys are brand new to the Nintendo Switch family, welcome to it. You're absolutely gonna wanna pick this one up because it is investing into the future. It's a better model altogether. If you guys are like me and you already have a Nintendo Switch and you're curious about whether or not to double dip and get a new one and transfer all of your data and save files to this brand new one, it's going to be questionable whether or not you have an additional $350 or if you don't. I mean, honestly, I would double dip 
if I had the money. It seems really great, and I love taking my Nintendo Switch with me on flights across the country. Um, I like the brand new viewing experience, and I feel like the enhanced sound is going to be pretty fun. So other than that, I think kickstand is going to be great in case you wanted to pop a Joy-Con off and play with some friends. But other than that, it's going to be up to you guys. So take a look again at all the different bullet points that we talked about, and let me know in the comment section below about what you think about the Nintendo Switch OLED. Are you going to get it? If you are, let me know why. And of course, if you guys are not going to get it, also let me know in the comments. Let's keep the discussion going and we'll go from there. So that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like Nintendo Switch content, be sure to subscribe for even more Nintendo content. We've got tons of Let's Plays and walkthroughs of the latest Nintendo Switch games, and I would love to have you guys. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.